a very good morning dear students and welcome to our social science class so today we are going to study about the already we have started the chapter with uh, the harappan uh, story how harappa city was discovered and we also learned the various type of uh, cities uh, are found and there are also two type of cities which are divided like for example citadel and lower town so today we are going to study about the about the houses drains and the streets of Harappa. So let's start our video. Uh, you can see here. So uh, houses in Harappa. The when archaeologists uh, excavated the site, when archaeologists tried to know the site, they found houses were one or two stories high with room built around the courtyard. So houses were uh, built in such a way, like two story buildings were there, and there were uh, rooms built around the courtyard. Okay. So, had a separate bathing area, had wells to supply water. Likewise, in our house, we had, we had got different room for the bathroom. We have got different area for water supply. Likewise, in Harappan civilization also, there were different separate area for bathing. And also, there were wells to supply water. So, drains were covered and there were gentle slopes so that the water could flow. All right, and the drains in houses were connected to those on the streets. Uh, smaller drains uh, led to the bigger drains. Likewise, you can see near our homes there are small drains, right? From where there is the outlet, where from where the dirty water goes to the small drains, and the small drains gets connected to the bigger drain, right? So this is how now we are having a proper drainage system. Likewise, in Harappan area or Harappan time also there was a proper drainage system. Okay so inspection holes were provided at intervals to clean them so there were holes where uh, dirt could be accumulated and the uh, streets could be clean so this uh, this is how houses drains and streets were being cleaned and these were being planned very properly okay and next how was the life in the city on Harappan? Likewise, we have a very uh, busy city life now, right? We are so busy with our own work. Uh, we are busy in our uh, classes. We are busy in sometimes shopping. We are busy with different type of works, right? And during Harappan time also, uh, we will come to know how people live and how what are the work they do and maybe uh, what are the things they used to do for their lifestyle, okay? So, what happened in the harappan uh, time uh, like how they actually live in the city let's study so harappan city was a very busy place rulers planned the construction of special buildings so whatever was planned they assumed that the archaeologists assumed that these are actually planned by the rulers so uh, so rulers sent people to distant land to get metals precious stones and other things that they wanted for building and constructions of houses streets and also many special buildings okay and uh, when they sent people to outside they were they, they sent people outside to bring the raw materials for uh, harappa so that they can build uh, beautiful buildings special buildings okay and they kept ornaments of gold silver and beads for themselves and um, scribes this is okay this spelling is wrong it's not s ropes it's scribes okay so scribes were uh, there who knew to write um, uh, apart from ruler, rulers apart from other people there were a special community known as scribes now scribes are the people who used to write manuscripts who used to copy manuscripts okay or, or any written document they also uh, carve skills uh, seals okay seals you know slate in slate uh, in stones some uh, you know writings are being sealed uh, inscribed those are known known as what seals so apart from scribes there were men there were women there were craftsperson who used to do different kind of kinds of work different kind kind of crafts are being seen both they do in house as well as in the workshop so people travel to distant land and brought raw materials along with new stories so when you visit to a new place you get to experience many new things likewise in that time also when people went to bring materials from outside for construction of building in their own place they along with the materials they bought very new different ideas and very and very and uh, various stories they used to narrate the stories to their partners to their friends okay and even terracotta toys have been found with, uh, with which uh, the student the kids used to play now uh, there are different crafts in the city that were found by the archaeologists let us see what are the crafts so 
uh, things were found uh, which are made of stones cell and metals including copper bronze gold and silver so whatever the tools whatever things were found they were made of these three important things or four important metals like copper bronze gold and silver also stones and cells okay so copper and bronze mainly that were used for making tools and weapons ornaments and vessels okay so it's there in your book please go to the book already I have sent the pdf yesterday in case you don't have any book you can just go to the pdf now uh, basically copper and bronze were used to make vessels weapons tools and ornaments sometimes and uh, gold and silver were mostly used for making ornaments okay now now we you we uh, we wear gold and silver ornaments likewise in that period also gold and silver was used for making ornaments so harappans made cells out of stones rectangular in shape and animal carved on them it's there in your book there is a rectangular curve which was uh, inscribed in stone so this inscription on stones is known as cells okay these are known as inscriptions and they are rectangular in shape and many animals uh, structures or the sculptures were being carved in those cells so the harappans made pots with beautiful black designs cotton pieces were found uh, attached to the lid of a silver case so archaeologists also found cotton and they thought that maybe cotton was first grown in that area okay so uh, cotton uh, so archaeologists found spindle wars made of terracotta and faience all right so they assumed that maybe uh, cotton was uh, spindled out there and they assumed that people used to make uh, toys or whatever they found in reality they used to inscribe or make in and now in a portrait of toys okay fans will be knowing a uh, little later i'll also tell you what is fans so a specialist uh, is always there for making uh, special things and a specialist is someone who is trained to do only one kind of work for example if you're a specialist in surgery you will only be good in surgery and not any other uh, areas if i'm good in teaching i'll only be good in teaching or maybe i'm not good in any other job profile or something like that okay so this is all we have learned today about uh, new crafts in the city about uh, life in the city and also about houses drains and streets how it looks in harappan civilization okay now please go to the book uh, if you have any doubt regarding any topic please give me a call or give me a message okay and i will up, up, uh, update your homework in uh, google classroom as an assignment uh, do it you can send me by tomorrow okay thank you have a nice day and god bless you